So pulmonary lung function or pulmonary function testing is one of the essential ways that we determine if somebody's a candidate for lung cancer surgery. It means you go into a little booth and you put a tube into your mouth and they ask you to breathe in as deep as you can, breathe out as deep as you can, they'll have you do it fast in and out, they'll time you. Sometimes patients tell me it's very stressful and the person that's coaching them on the breathing is very aggressive. It's very important that you always do your best effort because this is the metric that we use to decide if you're a good candidate for surgery or not. And so if somebody feels like they weren't in their best shape, or they had a cold at the time that they had that performed, I usually recommend that they have it done again to make sure that a mistake wasn't made. Some patients, if they don't do well in their pulmonary function, their doctors will ask them, well, can you climb a flight of stairs and do you get short of breath? Do you run every day? What kind of activity do you do? Maybe they do a six minute walk test. If they fail the pulmonary function test, there are always other options. We could have them do something called a ventilation perfusion scan, and we can look at the distribution of the certain chemical inside the lung and then calculate how much we're gonna remove and calculate how much they'll have left. But the pulmonary function test is the essential way that we decide if somebody has really enough lung to have the surgery. If they don't have enough lung reserve, to have what's called a traditional lobectomy, then that means sometimes we'll take less lung. Maybe we do a segmentectomy. Maybe we do a wedge resection. And in some patients, the lung functions so bad, the surgeon looks at it and says, this patient should never have surgery. We should do radiation therapy. And we have a rule that I think is very important. Whenever someone's told they're not a surgery candidate, we make sure they hear that from a surgeon. And then if they want radiation therapy, we always make sure they hear, yes, you're a radiation therapy candidate from the radiation oncologist as well as the surgeon because we want to make sure nobody gets told no when the answer was really yes. So it's important to do, to do the lung function because that's how we decide who's a candidate and who's not for what type of surgery.